Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I have another Greylock video for you guys. If you guys haven't seen the first video I made on this Greylock series, go watch that first and then watch this one because this one is actually the newest video they just made. And this is definitely my favorite out of the series. I think I can also definitely say that Greylock is probably my favorite analog horror series I've ever watched so far. And we're only six videos in. Now, I don't want to go too much into detail about like the new uh video but it does bring up a couple names and i'll tell you guys more at the end of the video but without further ado i'm gonna stop talking and let's just get into it humanity has stood tirelessly past two great new trials in the 1840 to achieve one singular goal a goal that countless men withered away That was a little caught me off guard. Thanks, some malware bites. Welcome back. User, Frank Porter. Please enter your credentials. Credential requirement bypassed by system administrator. Greetings, and no user ID. Welcome to Simeodyne USA's virtual message assistant for user. Project director, Frank Porter. Establishing custom telephone message settings. Sender, Paul Morelli, Ave. The Morelli Construction and Mining Company. Dates of receipt ranging from March 24th, 1987, to March 30th, 1987. Beginning playback of your messages. Message 1. March 24th, 11.14 a.m. Hey Frank, it's Paul Morelli. We ran into somewhat of an issue today. We came across these tunnels inside the mountain, pretty deep in, but, uh, well, this is gonna sound a little crazy, but he told me to call if anything strange came up, and, uh, I figured this qualifies. People have been here before. Some obviously man-made shit in there, like carvings and stone. This shit looks ancient, like real old. I took a crew in to look through it, but since part of the tunnels caved in some time ago, we're gonna just have to bust through it regardless. But I still wanted to make you aware of it. Anyways, I'll keep you moving. Thanks. Message 2. March 25th, 7.38 a.m. Hey, Frank, it's Paul. Just calling to tell you the day might be a bit slower than usual. Unfortunately, a number of the crew are sick as dogs. Not, uh, not really sure what kind of stuff folks going around or what, but we'll do our best to pick up slack. I'm calling in some guys who have a day off, so, uh... Hopefully things will get a little closer to normal, you know? That being said, I don't know how the hell this happened, but the section of the tunnel here I caved in is clear. The tunnel's been wired up with a few lights, too. Wanted to see if maybe you sent someone in while we were off shift. Night crew said you didn't, but, you know, I didn't see anybody else either, so... But a few of the guys said they'd seen something running around in the woods surrounding the site. I think it's probably a deer or whatever, but seeing all the ruckus we're making out here, you know? But they all insisted it was something else. Something like a, a real tall man. Might just be some okay. environmentalist moron trying to cause some shit, but, you know, he ain't done nothing, so I told him to keep focused on the project. For safety's sake, we're going to avoid the tunnel until I hear back from you. All right, bye now. Message 3. March 25th, 4.56 p.m. Hey, Frank, it's Paul again. Hey, Paul. Frank sent out to take photos just left, but, uh, well... He seemed totally fine when he got here, but we practically had to carry him back to his car when it was done. I don't know if he caught whatever's going around, but figured you should know. Also, we found some really old shit down there, Frank. Now, I ain't no historian, but we got a guy on the crew who used to do archaeology work or whatever, and I don't know. Well, I guess there's some old artifacts down there, like weapons and trinkets and whatever. 
I'll have him draft up a report for you and send it your way because I feel like he'd be interested and he can explain all this shit better than I could anyways. His name's Arnold Rivers. That's about it. All right. Bye. That name Message probably four. has something to do. March 26th, 103 p.m. I'm going to remember Arnold Rivers. Frank, something ain't right here. Crew's getting worse, more sick. I, I feel okay so far, but I, I don't know how long that's going to last. I saw that thing the guys have been talking about last night, stalking around in the tree line. I swear it had a face. Anyways, just, just call me back as soon as you can, Frank. Message 5. March 27th, 12.10 p.m. All our food is rotten. Don't just boil them, covered in maggots. It was perfectly fine and stored. There wasn't any problems with the generator, even if we lost power. I mean, it's the end of March. All our food looks like it's been left out in the heat for weeks. No idea what's going on. Please call me back. Message 6. March 27th, 4.02 p.m. It's Paul. We saw it again. Something out here with us. It's in the woods. And it's... It's watching us, goddammit. It ain't no animal either. Who are you guys gonna put up those fancy hunting cameras and see if we can catch anything? Maybe locals fucking with us? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But, but yeah. Anyways, I, I just... Motion detected. Uh-oh. I hate this. I, I This series is so uneasy. Message 7. Date and time unavailable. Message 7. <laughs> This doesn't seem like a fancy camera. I can't see anything. Oh. What the? Did a ghost just pass by? Message 8. March 29th, 10.13 p.m. <laughs> Frank. It's Paul. Holy shit. Uh, well, a lot of the crew here are sick now. And they're sort of like and unresponsive. We tried emergency contacts for them, but they just keep ringing. The phones, they just, they just kept ringing and ringing and ringing. Nobody picked up from any number we tried. Nobody picked up. No answer machines either. We had to call the hospital and the same thing. Just ringing. Just tried 911, still nothing. I figured the phones were fucked up, but... The machine actually picked up. <laughs> so he's going insane. Um, I think I caught whatever's going around. My skin, it feels, it feels tight. A lot of pressure behind my eyes. My, my teeth feel like they're, they're humming, vibrating. Um, you know what? First I'll start when we can go across that tunnel. I feel like it, I need to figure out what's down there. I think whatever's down there could help my crew. But most of all, I feel like something really bad's gonna happen if I don't go down. So I'm going down tonight. Swear if there's a jump scare. Okay, what the heck? Message nine. March thirtieth. Time unavailable.
This is your end. Other messages. Wow. Okay, that, th this series was so unexpected, like, I never thought this would be this good, but I am so hooked now, and we're only on, like, six videos, so I'm excited to see more of the future of Great Luck. Alright, y'all, so now is the time where I go over my theories and also, like, kind of sum it up, but I said before I ended that like whole video of reacting to that clip i love this series so far we're only six videos in and it's just definitely a series that i hope to see more of kind of like the mandela catalog i feel like this could be really big and it's really crazy how they don't have that many subs like this series is probably one of my favorites i've ever reacted to and i feel like that last video had something to do with thought forms i don't know if it plays into the other videos but it, it, it's probably my favorite. Like, it just, I really like how it goes through all the messages that Paul leaves Frank. And how each time he kind of gets worse and then he finally catches the sickness. And I don't really have a theory fully of what could be down in that cave. It could be a thought form. It could be something even higher powered. I don't really know yet. But I know something is lurking around and I feel like it could just be a thought form. I don't fully know. I know the name Arnold Rivers was brought up, and I don't know if that has any correlation to another video. I'm going to do some more research online and kind of look it up because I'm really waiting for the new video. And, if yeah, if you guys did like this video, if I get 10 likes, I will make another video on Greylock. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a sub, and, yeah, peace out.